So I think I'm going to select some smaller ones to go into a cake. All right, so slow cooker pineapple upside down cake with pawpaw. Wait, scrambled eggs? No pawpaw, but it does require three eggs. So, okay, this is how we're gonna get started. Arrange your maraschinos and pineapple slices thusly. But here's the important step. Don't forget to reserve your pineapple syrup. So that's a half stick of butter or a quarter cup, whichever comes first, and we're going to add to it one cup of brown sugar and stir it together. So even easy recipes are uh, easy to mess up. So you're supposed to have put this in first and then arranged your uh, vegetables there in the bottom. <laughs> and I, uh, you know, I did that first. Also, you're supposed to spray it with... Um, Pam, which I did the sides. Uh, there's plenty of butter in there for that sugar to not stick, right? I don't know. We'll figure it out in the end. Does not follow directions. It's true. All right, our spackling's done. So there's our crocky butter cake mix there. And we're going to add some uh, one cup here of the reserved pineapple liquid. And then we'll add three eggs and our pawpaw pulp and mix it in. There's our pulp. We're going to stir, fold, whatever, that in. And uh, lay it on top of that. Place it in your liner and cook it on high. There we go. For two and a half to three hours. So there's the cake after about two and a half hours. Looks like it just about passes the toothpick test. One thing that I didn't do but probably should have uh, is rotate the liner about halfway through. I did it with maybe a half hour left to go, so it's a little unevenly cooked, but I'm going to let it cool a little bit and then I think cut around the edge a little bit and then try to dump it out onto the cutting board. There she is.